Hello everyone, I'm back with another video and in today's video we have an HP ProBook 450 G9 model. And in this video I'm gonna go on step by step how you can open it up and how you can replace or remove your internal battery. If your battery is not holding out any more charge, it just discharged really quickly, then you might want to replace yours. And this video it's really easy, simple to do it, you can do it under 5 to 6 minutes. And I'll leave the link for the tools and the new battery that you can purchase for your own. This applies for any G9 series, doesn't have to be a 450. By replacing the battery, you're not going to change or modify anything in the system. It's just plug and play. I'll give you a really good tip at the end of the video. How you're supposed to do your initial charging and discharging to conserve the lifespan of the battery to make it last longer. And you should do that once every two months. All right, let's just get it started. Power off the laptop, flip it upside down, and grab yourself the screwdriver set that you have. I use this iFixit screwdriver set, and we are going to be using a Phillips number zero. If you purchase the Pro set, they give you some opening tools and tweezers. If not, just like me, go grab yourself a guitar pick. And metallic guitar picks are suitable to opening cases and covers. Right. Now, at the bottom of the laptop, there's five screws, two in the front end, one in each corner. These are the short screws, and the back screws, they are locked in with a C-lock on the other side. And the C-lock has a purpose, and I'll show you that in a second. First, let's go ahead and remove the two screws in the middle, on the bottom, I mean, in the front. Also, if you guys like my videos, if you want my videos helpful and helping you guys out, you can support the channel by clicking the like and subscribe. I'll greatly appreciate it. All right. This back screw right in here, as because of the C lock in it, it will prevent it from coming out. But as soon as I start rotating, it will help me to separate the bottom cover from the palm rest. So pay attention to here and see how it's going to open it up. You see that tiny, tiny gap? You, yours might be a little bigger. So I can even stick my guitar, guitar pick easily right in there and separate them right there. You see? That's what the C lock is supposed to do, help you to separate the covers. So you want to just rotate until you feel like the screws are really loose enough. Do that to the all the three screws at the top row. There we have it. Now you want to grab your opening tool and make sure you stick it right there and lift it up and put your finger right in there so it doesn't go back down. Do the same thing in here. Stick the guitar pick in there. I'm mean, thinking about two or three millimeters. Not it's taking too much. Um, I'm gonna hear those big click sounds. I work myself to the corner, and it is pretty tough. It just wants to go back down, so I grab it from my with my fingers from there and from the middle. I'm gonna snap it upward towards the ceiling, and you wanna hear nice big clicks in the middle. Those are the clips that are under the cover holding from the battery. So you wanna bring it up and. Keep doing it up and down and it will release the clips underneath and you can just lift it up. Those clips are right in here. One, two, three, four. So that's why you feel this tension that it wants to go back down with the clips in there. So you want to grab it from the side, bring it up, down, up, down, and it will release it. And down here we can see the big battery right in here. This battery is a, the model. It's RH03XL. And to disconnect the battery, you have to remove a few screws. So one, two, three, four, five, six screws that touch the battery that they have a white arrow. Go ahead and remove these two, six screws. Also, this one right in here, this is the CMOS battery. If you want to replace your CMOS, if the BIOS is not holding up any configuration, you want to replace it. To replace the CMOS, it comes with an adhesive underneath, so you want to put the, something under the battery and break that seal, double-sided tape, and then you want to untangle it. And the jack in here, you just pull it back, it goes in one way. Then you can buy this one really cheap. It's an RCR2030 battery with a cable. I'll leave the link in the video description. You want to replace yours. To put it in, it only goes in one way. Push it inside the jack. Bring it. You can tangle the cables right between the plastics and push it in there. And there we have it. Now that we remove the screws for this patch, just simply lift it up, 
because we're going to trash this one. You just want to replace it. So what you want to do, you want to pull it back, slide it towards yourself, and it will just pull back the jack itself. But if not, the, these cables are really, really tough, so don't worry about by pulling it back. And even if you want to reuse it, you can do that. Let's say you got the new battery. This is a three cell battery, one, two, three cells. You want to put it in. First, make sure the red cables are on the right side. Facing straight the connectors, and you want to pinch it inside the connector all the way in. Okay. Now what you want to do, you want to bring it, make sure the screw holes match, put it right on top, and screw down the screws. Now, regarding the how you're supposed to charge and discharge your battery to make it last longer, for any new battery that you put on your laptop, as soon as you install the battery, you do not want to power on the laptop. You want to leave it off and you want to connect the charger and leave it sit down there. Leave it sitting for at least four to five hours charging without powering it on. After four to five hours, you want to power on the laptop without the charger connected and with the brightness down to 54 screen and leave it there for discharging until it just discharges to 20%, whatever percent the Windows is set to. Once it's discharged, you want to power it off and then you want to leave it charging again for four to five hours. And after that, you can just use as you wish. That initial charge and discharge, that initial charge and discharge, it is very crucial for new batteries, and you should be doing that once every two or three months. All right. Once you put the top cover in, you want to push down on the middle, so you want to hear those click sounds. Okay. And now, if you see any gaps opening and stuff like that. What you want to do, you want to open the screen and grab this and pinch it together really hard and it's going to pull the cover to itself, okay? Now you want to put it down and you want to tighten up the screws right on the seal locks here on the top side and put the front end the screws. And again, I hope you guys like this video and helped you guys out. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. And this is how you can replace your battery for HP ProBook 450 G9 models.